Hello everyone, it's Natasha from Treasure Books. So I made, uh, I put together these little bookmaking kits. I try to include everything you might need to start your bookbinding journey or if you are already making books, you know, to add to your collection. Uh, these will be listed in my Etsy store, the link is down below. So if it's something that you might be interested in, please stick around and let's have a look what's in here. Okay, so let's start with the essentials. So. In the kit you will find an awl, we need these to punch holes into our signatures. You will also get a selection of nine bookbinding needles, different sizes. So you will find thinner needles like this and then thicker needles like that. I tend to use a needle like this for most of my bookbinding. Then you will also get three different colors of this waxed thread. So there's um, these three colors. I don't know if you can see very well. They're, that will last you quite a long time. And then we also have a bone folder. This is a plastic bone folder for creasing your pages so you can get a nice crisp, crisp crease. I like to do that for all of my pages that go into a signature. There's also these threads as well you can use these for book binding too they're not waxed but they work perfectly fine for book binding two different colors green and yellow and then i also included these uh, this one you can use for book binding this one probably not so much because it's got um it's got like it's like a hairy little string so it can be used for book binding or for tags and things like that so i thought that would be a nice little extra to include then there's a little box of different things so let's go through so in here you will find eight gold uh, book corner protectors they're metal book corner protectors gold in color there's eight bronze ones that look like this and then there's eight silver ones that look like that Next thing you will find is these metal findings that, uh, that I like to attach on a book. So I'll just show you how it looks. Something like this. So you can attach it to your spine and then you have this little thing here to hang tassels or charms or whatever you want to put on there. Maybe some ribbons and things like that. So I have also included a large brad for this larger one like that so you would attach it to your spine like that and then there's a smaller one with a little smaller brad and that you can just poke a hole in your spine and then attach that with the brad and then you can have little things hanging off there and then i also included one of these this can be used uh, as a little closure on a journal so it just closes like this and then you just need brads you can use brads to attach it or a little screw or it's got these little holes here so you'd need six brads to attach that you can use that in a little box on a box or on a journal to create like a little closure so that's in there too next thing i included is these book plates so there's two book plates and there's four brads to attach the book plate to your journal and they are this size and there's four brads because you need two for each to attach on your journal you might have seen me use these before so this is how it looks on a book i just layered some lace and some paper and then i attached the book plate and then i put inside a little paper it says journal there so that's how you would use that and there's two of those next thing we have is a little baggie of an assortment of little die cuts so you can use them as also as book plates so there's a few different ones i'll just show you this is from a wallpaper and then some are wallpaper some are just cardstock this is a nice little book plate too i've used that in the past as well this one so you can make quite a few journals using uh, the supplies that uh, that you will find in the kit so all different types of little things 
and then some of these so these all you, you can use them anywhere you want you can pop them in pockets in journals or I would use them on a journal as a book plate so you can do you can layer maybe something like something like that and then something like this with little brads there or you can put let's see maybe this one here on top of that one you you might you know ink the edges so it pops up and you know you can do all sorts of things with that I also included one of these it's like a, a gold on one side and then silver on the other so that can also be like a little book plate on a journal and then I have included this fabric so you can use this to make a cover and it kind of looks like burlap but it's not burlap it's a it's an upholstery fabric it doesn't fray it might fray a little bit if you if you're really trying to pull it but it's it doesn't fray because it's got this on the other side it's kind of all sort of glued together so this will make a nice beautiful journal cover so depending on how large your journals are going to be you probably have enough material here for two journals so if you cut it in half you can have two journals of this size or if you're making mini journals you can cut it into four and have four journals of this size so there's a little bit of fabric there for you just to play around with and then I also have this type of material I'm not sure exactly what it's called but it comes rolled up like this so you might need to iron it if it's curling up see so just a little bit of an iron over the top will do the job so you can use both sides um, this side or this side for a cover or I think this will look really good on the inside so if you're layering you put paper underneath and then this can be your outside of the journal and then this can be your inside of the journal so you can glue them together or sew them together or do whatever uh, your wherever your imagination takes you so I've included two of those as well and then I have included two of these so these are I've got three here so there will be two in each kit so these are wallpaper uh, papers this is vintage luxury wallpaper so I've used this as covers before or you can line it with cardstock to make it sturdier so there's two of those and then I have also included two of these pieces of cardstock I use quite a lot of this in my journal making I like to use this on the inside of my journal so I'll just show you so for example these are the little mini journals that I'm making at the moment and what I did is I uh, pop, pop the fat um, the upholstery fabric as my outside and then I've got that on the inside so you can see that I've sewn all around and I still have to sew in the signature so once it's done it looks something like this so you can see that I've used that on the inside so you can easily use this as your cover and then this on the inside so there's lots of uh, things that you can do with this kit it's um, mostly like a starter kit you have a few bits and pieces to play around here you have a few findings you can use this is going to last you quite a long time I've, I've been using my three uh, for a long time now so um, they're the ones that I used in all of these here binding my journals and that's everything that comes in the kit so you might find these ones here will uh, might be a little bit of different in depending on which kit you purchase but they're pretty much the same same type of thing but you might find different colors and stuff like that so uh, everything is down below the link to my Etsy is down below if you're interested in purchasing uh, thank you so much for being here today and I'll see you in my next video bye